Boarding time 1340, says Marine pilot Li Yanfeng as he starts his second shift of the day. He has the delicate task of docking a 300,000 ton oil tanker from Singapore. It's an effort that requires immense knowledge of the water and weather, not to mention the expertise in handling such a huge and hulking vessel. Lee is one of merely 2,400 people in the country qualified for the job. We exercise national sovereignty by providing mandatory pilotage services to incoming ships. Foreign captains are not familiar with local waters, but we have the expertise. So we board their vessels and lead the way. Ships nowadays are getting bigger and bigger, which makes our jobs trickier. COVID-19 has added to the challenge. Ships arriving from high-risk regions are handled by a designated team of pilots and tugboat crew. They work in isolation for 10 days at a time and must pass several COVID tests before rotating out. Lee is on low-risk assignments this week, but still has to wear a protective kit. I can't have food, water or toilet breaks for at least four to five hours. The suit also makes it harder to move. I'm already sweating right now. So we're finally approaching the oil tanker and here comes one of the most dangerous parts of the job. The pilot has to board the giant ship while it's moving. With churning oceans under his feet, Lee climbs up a traditional soft ladder, a hazardous maneuver that's given him more than one near-death experience in the past. Lee's workload has increased over the years as the port expands in size. And as the Chinese economy further recovers from COVID-19, the processing volume for containers jumped 21 percent in the first half of this year. After an initial dip last year, our container arrivals now look set to surpass previous years. We've increased efficiency by using a smart operating system and are exploring unmanned trucks to sort cargo. But our efforts alone are not enough. Ships on the U.S. West Coast are waiting more than a week to dock, rather than two days here in China. We can only do so much if the rest of the supply chain is congested. The port expects significant revenue growth over the course of the year amid rising demand for Chinese supplies, including both goods and containers. As pilots, Li and his colleagues say they see the changing tides of global shipping firsthand and are ready to step up to the challenge. Fang Fei, CGTN, Ningbo, Zhejiang Province.